The Sonable Smart Comp 2 is an all bells and whistles compressor with AI learning. If you have ever worked with a Sonable plugin, like the Smart Limit, then everything looks familiar. In Smart Comp 2, an iLock is no longer required. I don't think anyone will cry over that. The recommended way to start using this compressor is to start with learning. Pick a preset here which fits your audio, let the audio run and press the learn button. After a short while, the plugin will find what it deems the best settings for your audio. There are quite a lot of presets available, but you don't have to use learning of course. With Smart Comp 2 you can adjust about anything you want and there are some handy features built in as well. Threshold is set like this. Ratio is set like this. The attack and attack behavior can be set like this. And the same goes for release, there's an auto release setting as well. I encountered a little bug on Windows 10 with a VST3 where the release pop-up didn't go away wherever I clicked on. By going to a different state tab and back this was resolved. If you encounter this, this is how you solve it before this bug is fixed by Sonable. The freeform transfer function lets you quickly dial in wide ranges of dynamic processing, from gating to pumping loud compression. This is one powerful feature which really affects how compression will react on the different levels of your audio track and adds a lot to the versatility of the plugin. There are a couple of handy presets available as well to get you going. One of the very neat features of this plugin is input writing. Little short explanation. If you adjust the inner levels of an audio clip before using compression, you will get a better working and smoother sounding compression. Because the compression after the leveling can work more constant. Plugins like Waves Vocal Rider or Hornet Auto Gain can do this automatically. And the Smart Comp 2 does this with input riding where you set the speed of the auto gain and intensity. This is great for voiceovers and vocal mixing, you can hear it in action on my voice right now. Spectral compression does a, let's say, Gullfoss type of processing. It's basically an intelligent high-res multiband compressor which analyzes and adjusts 2000 frequency bands for optimal sound. A literal sound goodizer, a goodier knob. The color dial can make the overall sound darker or brighter. But does the plugin have a sound in itself? Well in default the answer is no, it's transparent. The compressor does affect your sound based on whatever setting you use. 
This is of course logical since without using a sidechain filter, the compressor will react on the entire frequency range and that normally is more based on the higher energy low end. Also all this change is within 3 decibel ish. Oversampling is not mentioned anywhere in the manual but I did not encounter aliasing with the examples I used. You can see a sharp drop off at 20 kHz here so I assume a filter is used to counter aliasing. The dirt dial obviously affects your sound as well. Turning it up will increase harmonics, saturation and more. With a plugin with this many features, a comprehensive sidechain EQ is of course included. This sidechain will affect how the compressor hears audio and applies its compression. It will have no direct effect on the sound. Simple low pass is done quickly to avoid low end pumping. But also focusing on mid range to get a more punchy sound is dialed in quickly. You adjust the bandwidth or cue with the scroll wheel of your mouse. Now by using external sidechain, which is of course also available on this plugin, the sidechain compression dial turns into sidechain ducking, where you can set how much ducking you need. The plugin can work in mid side as well. Both mid and side channels will get their own individual channels and metering display. Even 5.1 surround is supported, compression applies to all channels in that case. With these 8 states you can quickly select between compression settings and this is automatable. The parameters of a state of the compressor will be written and you can adjust these or change altogether. Handy for different compressor settings in different parts of a song. Output volume included. The latency of a Smart Comp 2 is around 44 milliseconds. That's too much to use this plugin during tracking or monitoring. CPU usage is minimal on my systems. Smart Comp is ideal for users who want a do it all for you type of plugin. Let it learn and be done with it. But if you need a compressor with all bells and whistles, tweakability and can go from transparent to very heavy compression, this is also the compressor for you. Sonable has pulled off both options and they did that as well with the Smart Limit plugin. Check that one out in the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below.